Hey everyone, this is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian at the University of Oklahoma. Today, in video 21 of Option for Remote STEM Research, we're going to begin our look at data sources for STEM. Today, science librarian Amanda Schilling will talk about commonly used data sources for her departments. I'm Amanda Schilling. I'm a science librarian at OU Libraries. And if you're looking for data, especially astronomical, climate, or weather data, I'm going to show you a few places where you can look for those data sets right now. So we're going to start by going to the library's website. So that's libraries.ou.edu. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see a list of resources by subject. I'm going to start by going to physics and astronomy. And on that page, on the right, there is a research guide. So we're going to go to the Physics and Astronomy Research Guide. And on that research guide, there's a tab called Data. And this is where I've compiled a short list of physics and astronomy data sets. So under Astronomy, there is some space telescope data. Uh, there's the NASA Open Data Portal, as well as several other lists. And also, I've included the Astrophysics Source Code Library. So this is some open source code that you can use to do some analysis on your data. There's also a couple of other things I've included here in the subject of physics and astronomy. So let's move on to weather and climate data. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the library's homepage by clicking on this library logo up here at the top. Once again, I'm scrolling to the bottom of the page under that resources by subject list, and this time I'm going to click on meteorology. So under meteorology, there is also a research guide there we go to the Meteorology Research Guide, and this time the tab on the left says Data Maps and More. And that first box here are data sets that are climate and weather data. And these range from data specific to Oklahoma, um, as well as national data. And you can also find NASA's data, Open Data Portal here, as well as data.gov, where you can find a range of different government data. This page also includes some information about the Weather Center here in Norman, some other state and national resources, as well as government organizations and other organizations where you might be able to find data sets that are not listed specifically in that first box. So that is a small sample of the data that's out there for astronomical weather and climate data. If you have questions or would like help accessing these data sets, please let me know. Also, if you don't find the data that you need on those lists, feel free to contact me and we'll look for others. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks so much, Amanda. This is a great time to book an appointment with your subject librarian, whether that's Amanda or someone else, to search for your data or learn about repositories that may be more specialized for your area of research. Visit libcal.ou.edu for appointments. We're going to have a live Q&A for these videos on July 22nd, 2020 at 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I'll be joined by my fellow STEMS librarians, Amanda, who we met today, Brent, and James. Registration is required to get the Zoom link. You can register at libraries.ou.edu slash events and look for the July 22nd event. Finally, more videos in this series, as well as announcements about our live events and workshops, are available on Twitter as well as on the Davis listserv at libraries.ou.edu slash davis. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash oustemyt. Please get in touch with me if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.